team coverage from our nation's capital. President Trump said last night he will get a border wall built. That is still one of the most contentious issues here in this town and across our country. The president has threatened to declare a national emergency if he doesn't get the money. A national emergency could free up the money to build more sections of a border wall. So I asked two representatives, one Democrat and one Republican, Joyce Beatty and Steve Stivers, about that national declaration. Both said it would be a mistake. I think it's a mistake because I do think he has been well advised that there's something called the Constitution. I think that he has been well advised that it will be caught up in the legal process. And if he's doing that just to claim a victory, again, it is his idea of a wall versus the people. He is the President of the United States of the people, for the people, by the people. I didn't see wall in any oath of office that he or any member of Congress took. It's not my preferred approach. My preferred approach is to um, find legislative compromise and um, work together and solve the problem. But if we cannot find that, and the only way forward to avoid a government shutdown is a national emergency, I believe the president has the authority to declare a national emergency, and I would support that effort in that it would keep the government open and fund border security, two things that I want to do. Stivers and Beatty said to get a deal done in Congress on immigration, there will have to be another word talked about besides the wall, and that word is compromise. As Stivers put it, no one will get everything they want. Question is, can that big compromise be reached before the threat of another government shutdown? The current resolution to fund the government ends February 15th. In Washington, D.C., Scott Light, 10TV News.